Hi, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your late late November 2019 reading. Um, I'm using the regular playing cards and I'm also using the Lenormand. So, let's see who the reading's going to be for. Let's shake these up. I have six left to do. Okay. What do I have? Capricorn, you're next. All right, so I'll leave that out of the bag. Put the bag aside here. All right, Capricorn. Ooh, let me put your energy in there, okay? Hmm, Capricorn. I can see sunflowers uh, with yours. Sunflowers, I think. Some sort of flower that has seeds. I guess they all do, but... Let's me think of some. Ooh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Two sevens. So seven of spades, seven of hearts. Um, that's like feeling up and down a real emotional roller coaster. Um, you know, one day it's up, the next day it's down. The next day it's up, the next day it's down. And it's feeling yanked or you your emotions are, you know, going through this right now, okay? Uh, could be over jealousy, could be tears over jealousy as well for you, Capricorn. So, uh, tell me for Capricorn, those cards jumped out, like, <laughs> so fast, I should have cut them right there, but I think they're getting ready here. Yeah. Capricorn. Late November 2019. There we go. Eight of Diamonds. Huh, that one doesn't want to go in either. Eight of Clubs. Two doubles. Hey, doubles are stronger. So there's some communication um, about work. Oh, there's a third card in there. Seven of Clubs. So this is worried about um, communication. Uh, this, the Eight of Diamonds is, um, well, plus the Eight of Clubs. They're both concerning work, your career, your, uh, could, could be a rate, you're looking for a raise or to work less. Anyway, they're, they're, uh, you could have gotten, um, I think this is face to face, you know, um, or you're, you could have gotten a letter, some sort of communication about work. I don't know. Something's going on here. Something's going on here. So that's your underlying energy, Capricorn. Okay. Hey, that's Carmela in the background. Every time someone comes in or out of the building, she has to announce it pretty much right so what i do here for this spread is i make seven piles and each pile has three cards in it um i lay the cards out face down and right side up um and i turn them over the piles over as i get to them Okay. I'll pull this back a bit. Let's see if I can move back a bit so you can see. Ah, ah. <laughs> so you can see what's going on here. Okay. So this pile, hopefully you can still hear me way back here. This pile is where you are now. I'm going to move up actually. It's not that great of a view for all the distance and takes me so far away from you. I'll show them to you. So anyway, this is where you are now. And you got the 
three of clubs, the nine of spades, and the three of hearts. Hmm. You know, I think despite your challenges, and I think one of the challenges is your actual physical health. Um, there could be something about the physical part of the job that is more challenging to you now, but <laughs> I think you work hard and um, I think you get a lot of appreciation, but I think it's getting harder for you. It's getting harder for you, okay? And this is, pro you know, I think the communication you're going to get is good. You're worried about it, but I think it's going to be good. Uh, but physically, it's wearing on you, I think, okay? So let's see what the Lenormand says for that for you, Capricorn. Tell me about this. I think you're recognized for the hard work you do. In the meantime, it's getting harder and harder for you to do the job, though, physically, is what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, I don't think it really shows in your work. Tell me about this for Capricorn. There's nine of spades here. These two threes. Tell me about this Capricorn. Ooh, could be it right there. All right. <laughs> you got the coffin and the well. So I think this is what you're thinking about, you know. Like I said, this is, it's taking its toll on you physically this doing this work that you're doing however you know and I don't think it's showing people can't tell nobody's noticing you know you might be worried that they are but they're not um, and and I, I think you know like the well is um, about m manifesting making things happen making what you want to come true okay the other thing, too, is that it's about digging deep and thinking about what do you really want now? What do you really want now? And, and, and you need to be ready to take action on those. They're not dreams. It's, it's about what you can do and what you can't do now. You know, I think physically it's taking its toll. It's You're worried it's going to put you in the grave or something like that, you know. And it may, <laughs> you know, like you need, um, I think you need something else. Also, and you can make it happen. You know, you can make this happen, but I think you really need to give some thought to what that is. It's kind of decision time, too. You know, uh, careful what you wish for you'll you will get it so you this may be a time you want to be specific to and do something that's not as physically demanding for what you what you're capable of kind of thing you know anyhow uh what's coming in for you is the six of hearts the two of spades and the seven of spades this is some sort of separation in love, in, well, in relationship, because this could be, you know, with your neighbor, with your brother, with your mother, with your lover, you know, any of the errs. <laughs> um, but it's, it's separation and, and tears. There's, there's upset, you know, this is upsetting uh, for some reason. You know, in some way, I think you thought things were going well. You also could be worried about your investments and maybe speaking to someone about your investments, what you've, you know, you, you've um, created, what you've built. Tell me about this um, breakup, the separation. 
separation for Capricorn. Who is this with? Can you tell me who it's with for Capricorn? Please. Please tell me. What's this about for Capricorn November? Late November 2019. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hmm. So the roses represents a gift. Okay. A, a gift. And then the m mice represent um, a destruction of resources, a destruction of your, because they whittle away, they get into everything and chew your wires and, and they get into your food and your, um, everywhere, they get everywhere. Uh, hold on a sec, let me look what it says here. Uh, so the flowers, it's a gift, yes. Um, joy, happiness, show of appreciation, okay? But there's a catch. There's a catch with this because those mice are there. And the mice, like I said, um, they may be delightful, but not when found in your kitchen. They are the niggling aspect of life when there is an issue, something that has become a pest in your life and will just not go away and leave you alone. Um, it leaves your mind troubled, okay? And like I said, there's some um, separation. Could be right after there's some uh, a gift or something like that. Uh, it says take care of your possessions. The mice are terrible hoarders and most likely to represent um, theft. But there's also a part here, it says, uh, they bring a bite size effect. So something happening in little chunks at a time. You know, whittling away at your assets, your possessions, your, you know, um, taking what's yours, kind of. Um, so, what's on your mind, Capricorn? This is nicer. Um, eight of spades, nine of hearts, and four of clubs. So it seems, you know, the four of clubs is at a crossroads in business, and we saw it back here. You know, you know that you can only do this for so much longer, right? So you're at a crossroads. But that nine of hearts is saying, like I said before, you can do it. You can manifest. You got to dig deep and figure out what it is because this is fulfillment, right? This is fulfillment and it's about your career choice. There may be someone who does not agree with you, however. You may have some sort of resistance from someone, uh, but it's what you want to do, you know? Tell me about this Nine of Hearts. Uh, yeah, it seems to be there's a lot of talk about what you're doing, what you are doing, Capricorn, you know. Um, I do think you're getting some sort of recognition, though, at work. Like I said, no one knows the toll that it's taking on you. Um, so tell me about this Nine of Hearts. You know, I think you do have resistance on what you want to do. Maybe not what you should do, what you want to do. And this is on your mind. Or I think you think you're going to get resistance. You know, you may not have expressed this yet because it's on your mind. Um, and you think you're going to get resistance, you know, in the direction that you want to take. Is what it looks like to me. So come on, tell me, baby. Tell me, darlings. Tell me. <sighs> For Capricorn. Ah, uh, it's from a woman. This resistance. Alright, see, I said so. Success, right? You're going to you're going to expand one way or another. I don't think you can help but, right? You know, Capricorn is very hard working, very determined, um very creative. 
you know, very creative and smart. And so th this is going to be successful, whatever this is. And see, there's the Ace of Diamonds, you know. That's, um, that's, <laughs> uh, you may have the gift of the gab, too. You know, I just had caught a feeling of that. You may have the gift of the gab. Um, and then you have the ship. And this is full steam ahead. All sails are up. And so this is moving quickly, swift, swift action, swift movement toward what your what your plan is, what you want to do. Another three, I might add, and a ten of hearts. Um, and it could be. It could be uh, toward a woman at a distance, okay? Um, or this is the woman you may think that you may have resistance with for your plan. Um, she's mature. She's established. She's smart. She's um, experienced, too. You know, she's very experienced. Uh, but I think she's also lonely. So you could be moving toward this woman, put swift action. And I think you're hoping for a good outcome, but you're expecting resistance. <laughs> so we'll see where that's going, all right? That's on your mind, though. That's what you want to do. You're thinking about it. All right, this pile is your achievements, you know, your creative you the way you are creative in the world so you have the six of clubs the two of diamonds and the ace of clubs this is movement movement forward the six of clubs is steps forward in business um, sometimes these sixes can be a trip as well like that gift back there with the mice that could have been a trip, you know, it was part of a trip and, and you ended up separating or something and it, something went wrong. But anyway, here we are in your, in your goals and achievements. So the Six of Clubs is moving forward in your career, in your work, what you are, what, what you contribute to the world. And you're having some sort of meeting about a new opportunity, all right? Um, this could be to do with a home. Sometimes I see that Ace of Clubs um, as the home card, like a house, literally. Um, and so you could be talking about a home. I think it's talking about this new opportunity, because like I said back here, you're looking for a change. You know your days are numbered at that. And you do have something you want to do. And this shows, you know, you could be going to meetings, you could be talking to people, you could be taking steps, probably maybe it's the six. So this is really getting going. It's not like the three. You know, it's the six now. This is double time. <laughs> you're going on this double time trying to, I think you're checking out the potential of, you know, um, to see if you really want to invest yourself now. So the research and the, um, uh, you know, how much of a market there is for that and all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, yeah, the Lenormand. Sometimes I almost forget about this part. So tell me about the steps in business. This meeting um, it, um, holds a lot of potential. Like I said, you could be going to talk to somebody, meet with somebody uh, about a job. You could ap be have applied or are applying. Because this could be with a company that's already established and you just have a lot of experience. You know, you, I think this is something you've been doing for a long time here. You have a lot of experience to offer, so this could be in your field, but I don't think it's physical. You know, not in the set, not in that way, anyway. Um, so tell me about this this new opportunity for Capricorn, this new beginning, this meeting about this new beginning. Who could it be with? What's it about? Tell me what's going on here for Capricorn. Tell me, tell me, tell me. 
all of you spirits and ancestors. Thank you. Mm, remember I said that Ace of Diamonds could be about the home? So this could be a new home. This could be You know, it could be a cottage even as well. I feel like you may have to travel to get to it. Um, could be about the home you're currently in, but I get the feeling, you know, you could be trying to take steps to secure it or you could be looking at a new home, a new home, you know. Um, it, it could be a little bit of a distance away, like I said, like that's why I felt like cottage, you know, like you gotta travel 20 minutes, half hour, uh, maybe an hour to get to it, I don't know. From where you are now, anyway, is there anything else here for Capricorn? Is there anything else to tell us about this home? I just got home away from home. It's like home away from home. I don't know if that means anything for anybody. Okay, I don't think there's anything else there. So you got what you got for that one. <laughs> um, so this is your um, outside influences. And you got the Six of Diamonds, the, or Six of Diamonds, Six of Spades, Ace of Diamonds, and Three of Diamonds. So this is turning the situation around right away, I can tell you that. Uh, this started out, you know, something that's not going well, it's unraveling, it's going backwards, um is turning right around. Now I'm going to tell you this could mean engagement, marriage, promises, um, because you know sometimes the ace is news of engagement or um, you know it's a it's a document like a scroll you know a contract even at times and the three of diamonds is is you know taking it to the next step um, that's another three you got. You got a lot of threes here, eh? But you might propose or you may be proposed to. Um, you're, you're, you, I think it reflects the situation over here, you know. Um, it's turning a bad situation around. Now, it could be a f turning a bad financial situation around, too, um, to, in your favor. Um, you're going to get what you want out of this, uh, whatever this is. And it reflects the separation over here. Hmm. You have the answer to, you know, you have the solution to your problem. And this is in love, like I told you, this is... Um, about this situation over here. I th you're trying to solve it. You don't want to be separated. You, I don't think you want to break up. You're trying to fix it. Um, and like I said, it could involve a proposal, engagement, um, a promise of something more. You know, maybe that's what they're pushing for. Maybe that's what they're pushing for. Maybe that's the gift they want that they're not, they haven't gotten or something like that. Now, you know, this is still totally your decision. I don't want you to feel pressured into something. You may be getting pressured into something. But I think it's what you want to, you know. Um... This could be someone from the past, though I'm going to tell you that because the Six of Spades is going backwards. It's rewind, you know, it's rewind. And you may think this person is the key 
outfits in the past, perhaps. Um, I'm not sure, you know. A couple of different scenarios that could be for you, Capricorn. Is there anything else here for Capricorn, you know, with the key? And it also is saying communication, too. Communication is the key in this situation. It's one of the, the keys, right? If you don't talk, you know, nothing can go forward, right? Uh, I might take that one and that one, I think. Let's see. Whoa, we got a couple here. Huh. Couple more eights, like you need more eights. I'm going to tell you, you're quite the talker, okay? And, and that's an eight as well. And the anchor. Okay, so... This situation could be a challenge, you know, to turn um, what has at, unraveled into something promising, all right? And it, it, it looks insurmountable. <laughs> it could look really challenging. You're not sure if you can pull it off, really. And... Um, and then you have the moon, and this is about love and romance. This is um, about um, expression, you know. Um, and then the anchor. This is pulling up anchor and looking for new shores, a new port to set down your roots, or this is setting down your roots, you know. Um, hmm. I want to look up that moon again. Like, I know it's about love and romance. Oh, intuition. That's the other thing. Um, it's saying you need to trust your intu intuition, you know, and I feel like this, you feel like this is something you need to do. Because there's something about it that has you, um, unexpressed or something like that. You're, you haven't released it in a good way, in a good way, but it could be challenging for you. And it may make you want to pick up anchor and set roots down in another place you know, in and in find a new, um, new shores, searching, you know, searching for that, um, you, you, like I said, you're going to get it, <laughs> you're going to get it, Capricorn is so determined, um, okay, so this is the foundation, and you have King of Clubs, Ace of Hearts, Eight of Hearts, all right, this is the first actual person beside the lady, the mature lady in the Lenormand. But this is the first actual person to show up in the playing cards that have been dealt out thus far. So the King of Clubs is um, usually male, could be female, brown or hazel-eyed person. They're creative, dynamic, friendly, helpful, um, smart, um, passionate, you know, attractive. And I, I, I can tell that you're attracted to them because there is this, this eight of heart or ace of hearts and eight of hearts. Uh, this is about expressing your feelings, you know, this is expressing your feelings, um, or they are to you. This could be you, Capricorn, this King of Clubs. You could be the brown or hazel-eyed person that is ready to express your feelings. You're ready to say, I love you. Don't you know I love you? There's a lot of talk here. You know, the, going down this whole center thing, I think you could be telling this mature woman because, you know, you're heading right to her. Ooh, okay, you got the clouds. So, and it's the king of clubs. Look at that. 
Um, so the clouds means that you're you're not seeing quite clearly as of yet. Like it, not everything is revealed. You're ready to talk, but it, you could be looking for the right timing. Um, you you want to make sure the way is clear is kind of what I'm seeing here. You want to make sure the way is clear. Um, maybe there's no other suitors, there's no interference of some sort. Um, you could be ready to give, like come with a gift, some sort of gift. Um, <laughs> you're ready to take steps, you're ready to move forward, launch yourself forward. You've got a lot of sixes. Um, you are ready to communicate. You're a little bit worried about how you'll be received. <laughs> you may have gotten in trouble before, you know, with this person. There could be some sort of past. Could be some sort of past. You got business and commerce. Money going in, money going out. Um... You could have done business with this person before. Well, you obviously have because this is a foundation. And so you've done business with this person. And maybe, um, you know, you're thinking about doing business with them again. And you, you want to make sure the path is clear. You... Um, This could be for a new home, like I said, something about the home over here. Um, this is flirting, though. You're flirting with someone. And... I think you're also thinking about the risk, you know, the risk. You're not sure, you're not clear about the risk here with this situation, with this person yet, okay? So, now we're moving to your surprise pile. Holy gosh, I'm at 32 minutes. Um, so, this is a surprise because you usually don't see it coming. You don't expect it. Um, you have the Jack of Spades, the Two of Clubs, and the Queen of Diamonds. So, you know, it, it, there's a, a, a few situations here where you are turning things around. Like I said, you have a, uh, a gift of the gap, obviously. Like, there's so much talking here. And um, I think of persuasion in some way. This Jack of Spades is um, either a young person in trouble or bad news, some sort of trouble. And it's from a meeting with this Queen of Diamonds. This is a green or blue-eyed woman. Um, she could... She's smart. You know, she's smart and she's sensible. So... There could be some bad news about this meeting with her. Or she could be trying to cause trouble at a meeting. Cause drama. I'm getting the feeling of drama. Okay? Trying to cause some sort of drama. I think this is face-to-face, -face, though. Um, could be trying to get you into trouble, too. So be careful there, Capricorn. Um, or someone is trying to cause trouble for you. Ah, look at that, look at that. So you got the dog. And the dog is about loyalty, trust, um, having your back, you know, having your back. And, and then you got the dice. And this is a risk. You know, it hmm. 
I just want to take a look at the bookie book for one second about the dog. The dog. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, reliable, faithful friend who can be trusted and who loves you unconditionally. You know, I think this is what you want, but it's a risk as to what that's what you're actually getting. You know, um, it's a gamble. It's a gamble. It's risky being friends maybe maintaining a friendship with this person. Um, I just get the feeling they're trouble, you know? Um, Perhaps you want to be friends, but it it's risky. You could <coughs> you could get messed around, excuse me. You could get messed around. You know. Anyway, it doesn't have any more for you. They're Capricorn, so a lot of big changes going on for you here. You got three aces. So those are a lot of doors opening. I have a feeling that you've completed a lot of things um, lately. Uh, you could be changing careers, trying to create a new place for yourself um, creatively. And uh, there's definitely something going on here in love. Um, whether it's the past or the present. You're definitely going to try, you're trying to solve it, but you're not sure about the reception you're going to get, and you feel it's going to be a big challenge. So, you'll have to let me know in the comments if this resonates for you. I feel like I'm going to cough again. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. It helps me a lot, as well as subscribing. If you haven't already, it's free. And uh, do write a comment if this resonates for you. Or maybe just part of it resonates with you. Maybe not the whole video. So let me know. I like to read and I read every single one of them. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. And um, have a nice Thanksgiving for those who celebrate it. Bye now.